I wish this was a video. So I could just be like a... <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay. Hey everybody, what's up? I am here with another thrift haul. Nikki is behind the scenes and we have a lot of stuff to process. Um, not very often is it that we go into thrift stores and don't comp stuff and don't look it up and pick things up blindly. But we went to a Goodwill grand opening the other day and it was crazy, right? It was insane. Yeah. Also, just for all the haters out there that keep saying how time consuming it is to do this in the thrift store and to do spreadsheets, I am behind the scenes doing a spreadsheet. So whatever the length of this video is, is how much additional time I wasted because we didn't put this on the screen. Yes, so we blindly picked everything up. There were too many people and like it was going too quickly to justify being able to comp and put it on the spreadsheet. So we're doing it now and we thought we would take the opportunity while we're doing it and going through things to show you guys what we got. I heard some people uh, got some really great stuff there. I know we found some good stuff. This is probably the best haul we've had in a really long time. I don't even remember everything we've got. <laughs> I don't know what the highest dollar amount is or what, but um, Nikki's going to be typing it behind the scenes. Um, I'm not sure if she'll do like comping at the same time, but um, we'll probably comp later. But if she finds anything worth noting, she'll tell you behind the scenes. So we'll get started. Um, I do have already a tote of places that we already went that we did put on the spreadsheet, but I got these on the weekend. So if you want to add these, this is a Foxcroft women's plaid top size 14. This should go for 25 bucks. I paid $4.99. And this past weekend, I also found a Susan Bristol vintage teachers cardigan. And that should go for 50. It's got some really cool graphics on it. It's a size large and it has shoulder pads. So these were not included in that grand opening we went to, but I need to add those to the sheet. All right, so now we can get started. First up, really great find, Girlfriend Collective 4XL women's wide leg pants. I don't know if it has a style name or a number. I don't see a style number, but uh, nylon, no, not nylon, polyester spandex. Wide leg pants, Girlfriend Collective is really good, especially in larger sizes. I'm gonna try to lay these on the table so they don't get wrinkled. This will go for 45. 45. We paid roughly a little over $5 on average per item. This up is a Vineyard Vines men's breaker pant, size 34 by 30, new with tags. And this style has a really great sell-through rate, and I'm not sure what they're going for new with tags, um, but men's Vineyard Vines stuff in general performs pretty well. We will mark those for 45. Nice. All right, next up. I feel like all the resellers that we ran into are going to be watching this video and wondering what they missed out on. <laughs> uh, next up is a Sims 2Ms men's fishing pair of pants. This brand used to do a lot better, but it still has a really great sell through rate and more bread and butter, but still goes for pretty good money. I've never sold like really nice pants like this. These are size 34. $30. Heck yeah. Here is another Vineyard Vines 32 by 34 slim fit breaker pant, new with tags. These ones are white. 34. Or it goes for 45. All right. Next up is an Eileen Fisher dress. Did not even think about it, just grabbed it. This is a purple long sleeve dress size medium. Um, and let me see, it is a button up. It's got a drawstring. It is a tinsel blend. That should do pretty good. I like the cinch waist. Yeah, has some really nice details. Feels brand new. Goes for 40. Heck yeah. 
All right, next up is another Eileen Fisher, Eileen Fisher 2X pair of wide leg pants. And these are a linen blend. Kind of crappie. Go for 40. Nice natural color. I thought those were flax when I first found them. Here is another Vineyard Vines Breaker Pant. This one is not new with tags. It is a 34 by 30 tan. So these ones are pre-owned. We'll see how those compare to the new with tags. Those will only go for 25, um, which is about half of what we were getting for the other ones. So definitely more beneficial in larger, um, larger sizes and in new with tags. All right, next up. Oh, these are Bonobos. Bonobos men's slim golf pants, 36 by 32. Those will go for 30. Nice light gray color. The golf collection does really good. Yeah, I don't think I've ever found Bonobos golf. All right, next up is a Madewell romper, and I'll probably have to give her the style number for this. I grabbed it because it was kind of a substantial piece. Madewell denim seems to do pretty good. This is a size medium. And let me see if I can find the style name here, or style number. Okay, style number. L4474. Made in summer of 2019. Mm -hmm. That is literally called Madewell Denim Coverall Romper. How original. It does have that coverall look to it. It's all button up too. Yeah, probably 35. Okay. Next up is an Athleta dress. This one feels really, really nice. And it's actually new with tags. Long sleeve pockets. This is called the Sea Soft All One Word Dress. Um, it retails for $109. What size is that? This is a size medium and it's like a dusty purple color. That will go for about $60. Yeah. Are we doing good so far for not comping sell through rate wise? Uh, yeah. Nice. <coughs> All right, next up is a pair of American Giant joggers, size medium. To me, these look like men's, but I wonder if there is a style just to verify. Normally it says it. I don't have a style, um, but I'm pretty sure that they are men's. You think men's? I found those in men's, so yeah. Okay. Those will go for 40. All right, next up a women's size 12 lululemon pair of really nice pants i'm gonna see if i can find the size dot so we can figure out what these are i never have luck looking up the anything on the tearaway tag do you sometimes they the new ones they've been putting the style numbers on those tags so sometimes i look for those i do not see it on this one. Oh. No. Okay. All right. I've got a, a dot. The style is LW5ASSS. <laughs> These are called the fly pant. These feel very nice. Were these the ones you said were my size? Okay. I might have to try them on, oh, depending on God. the size, <laughs> the price. <laughs> $45, 45 to $50. It's pretty good. I'll try them I on. I might, uh, yeah, those are gonna be 50, 50 okay. to 55. You shouldn't leave those here. <laughs> we will try them on and see. These need some help. Next up, a pair of Aloe leggings, very strappy, like distressed looking. And these are a size small. 
and we do have the thing here. I have a VIN, VN number. I wonder if that would be the style. It's 3158. That's all I got though. <laughs> all we have to work with. It's very interesting. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't help me. But we'll do some research. They're like strappy mesh. We might have to Google lens it. Oh, these might be them. Let me search this. While you're doing that, I'll look for this next size dot. Oh, I found it. Yeah, no, I'll have to do some research on those Alley Yogas. Okay, next up is a pair of blue um, Capri slash Crop Lululemon leggings. They are a size two and I have a style number. LW6AJS. Looking at this guy right here. LW6AJS. LW6AJS. A-H-J-S, sorry. A-H, I'll say it didn't pop up. All right, those are in movement crop leggings. These ones are size two. Those will go for 35. Okay. Uh, next up, we're going to try to wash this. This is a girlfriend collective pair of leggings, size large, and it needs wash. There's a couple things on the back. Um, oh, this was hidden inside of a pocket. So I wonder if the other ones have a hidden tag too. It says number 4007. I wonder if that's like their style name. So we'll wash these because they have a couple of like oil spots on the back. See if we can get that out. Next up is a pair of Spanx uh, faux leather looking leggings. Size small, kind of metallic, wet look, all the things. Um, sometimes they do have a style number. Let me see. Uh, you can try 09172500. There's also two other numbers that are smaller. No. 22539. Yep. Faux leather black shiny high rise legs. Those will go for 35. Okay. I was just telling them that used to be like a super huge bolo, but I feel like it's gone down recently. Ooh, I'm excited to figure out what this is. Okay. This is the brand Naked Cashmere. Oh yeah, we picked those up on a whim. Women's size small, 100% cashmere joggers. They feel very, very nice. They're ribbed, tapered. All right, there are six available. One soul. Mm. But they sold for $75. Oh, so Poshmark might be better luck for stuff like that. We'll uh, do some more research into those. But Sounds good. Most of the ones that are listed are actually new and there are no pre owned available. So that tells me that the pre owned ones have more than 100% selfie rates. So. Nice. I mean, cashmere pants, anything, going to be good. All right, you ready for the next oh, one? Yeah, sorry. It is a J. Crew women's denim dress, size extra large. It has roll tab sleeves. It's like a shirt dress. Any kind of J. Crew chambray or J. J. Crew denim stuff um, always performs really well for us. I'll list that for thirty-five. Okay. That's very bright. Next up, I have a Bowden sweater. Preparing for fall and winter. This is a size US 10 cable knit, kind of tunic length. And let me grab the style. This one's also going to need a wipe. 
WV061. Longer line cable knit sweater. Can you make a note of, because I don't think this is going to come out in the wash, like a very, very light stain on edge of cuff. Yep. Next up, this is a Jess and Jane made in USA top cat shirt. I got that just because of the crazy cat lady. Yeah, I was going to say, why do I feel like this is going to be like expensive, like artsy cat lady? That will probably go for $30. All right. Because of the cat ladies. Anything all over cat stuff we found does really, really well. Let's see, next up, very beachy. This is a free people size extra small very very beachy tunic top let me get a style number oh it's a gb you can try it gb or ob i don't know nine five sorry scratch that nine seven five one one nine one zero six if that doesn't work, the second nine might be an eight. This one needs wash too. <laughs> the back of the neck. <laughs> That's what we get for going so fast. All right, next up is a joie top. I'm gonna check that it's 100% silk, but most of the ones we pick up are size medium, very cute, uh, three quarter length, roughly top. It is 100% silk and it needs washed armpits. <laughs> okay, this next one I was super excited to find. We'd been in the store for like how long? Probably like an hour and a half when I found this. Um, it is Arcteryx. It is a men's size medium, very lightweight, full zip jacket. And let me see if there's a style number of some sort. I don't see one. It is a 100% nylon, very lightweight zip jacket. Um, but this brand performs extremely well in just about everything. This one's in pretty good condition. But yeah, I found that in the jacket section. We That was like towards the end of the store um, we were going through and people had picked over that section, but nobody grabbed that. I don't know how. Next up is a Talbot's cashmere size large cardigan new with tags this retails for 229 dollars it's just an all black plain one but it is cashmere new attacks and size large i feel like that's gonna help i don't know i'm not i'm not gonna price that yet okay i might wait till we list it so we can check again when it comes closer to time okay might need to do the same with this one too this is a lauren ralph lauren wool angora rabbit hair blend black ruffle cardigan this one's really cute it has the ruffles and then it has like a ruffle bell sleeve too and it's cable knit all right next one oh this is what i was talking about the wolford w-o-l-f-o-r-d wolford Wolf, wolford leggings i have no idea these are faux leather I don't know the size. I only have the European size, but I think they're like a size large or extra large. We sold a pair of like nylon-y cotton ones of these for like 50, 60 bucks the other day. Smell it. Does it give you the Lulu smell? A little bit. <laughs> Any idea on the Wolford? We gotta look them up. Oh, I was going to wait, but I will look it up. I'm just excited. <laughs> about a hundred dollars wow yeah maybe even be to stretch that we sold not we but somebody sold a skirt for a hundred dollars um and then they have like some specialty lines that are like 110 but then there's also some that are significantly cheaper i think we'll probably mark them about a hundred dollars i'm good with a hundred <laughs> All right, these next ones will need wash. They're a pair of women's Lululemons. I'm pretty sure they're the dance studio joggers, but I'm gonna find the style number for them. 
feel like every time we list these, we double sell them <laughs> within the same hour. Not cross <laughs> so, yeah. I don't see. So, oh, here it is. I feel like I should have this memorized by now. LW5DBHS. Size 4. Really? Beyond the studio jogger. Beyond the studio. They should still flip really quickly. Just go for like $60. Nice. Sorry that you have to wash so many. Clearly I was in a hurry. <laughs> I mean, I definitely pulled some that we're going to have to wash. Next up is Oh My Gauze. This brand's been performing pretty well for us. These are, this one's a size two. I feel like that might be 2X, but we'll have to check. 100% cotton half sleeve tie dye top. Let's go for like 30 to 35. Okay. Next up is a J. Jill Love Linen. This is called the Essential Shirt. Size small, gray button up long sleeve. That line does really well. Pretty sure this one was just a $25, um, but it's a Reformation jeans scoop neck t shirt. Pretty basic minimalist top, but good sell through rate. I haven't even seen some of this stuff. A Lucky Brand size medium. Is this real leather or faux leather? Real leather. It's lamb's leather. Ooh. Mixed with lamb leather, mixed with, I want to say cotton. Oh, goat leather. Goat leather. Goat leather and cotton. That's nice. I know. It's very thick. Kind of moto-esque. Looks like we need a lint roll the inside. I was having a hard time figuring out exactly what I wanted to price it for because they range kind of all over the place, but I'll probably put it around $75 and then accept offers. All right. Sounds good. These I found someone had put back at the end of the aisle, so I snatched them up. Um, they are a pair of Chico's Travelers Slinky Pants, size 3, and they are a very pretty wide leg floral print. And the, the print stuff seems to increase the value, so I would say 25 to 30 maybe $28 on those, you think? Put them at 30 for sure. We've been selling some of the black ones for like 28 so. All right. I thought that was pretty. All right. <laughs> We're down two bags. You're down 30 to go. I should start going faster. All right, we have two pair, three pairs, two pairs of American Eagle kick boot jeans, size 20. I don't know if these are the same. I don't think they are. I think the wash was slightly different. Yeah, um, but new with tags, plus size and the kick boot. This should do pretty good. We have a pair of Spanx pull-on jeans. We do have a flaw on the inner thigh, so we'll have to include that in the pricing. Size large though, so that should help to increase the value. <laughs> I mean, we, we were going fast. All right, we got some bags, but I have no idea on these and they do need some cleaning up, cleaning up for sure. Um, this first one is an All Saints, see all the crud? <laughs> all Saints, I don't know if it is lamb leather or just regular leather, I can't tell, but very soft supple leather, kind of slouchy hobo bag. I thought the style was really good, and like I said, it does have some wear and he's cleaned up quite a bit, but some of the bags I saw were going for like crazy amounts of money, so might be really good. I'm not gonna attempt to price that because I know. that's gonna need a lot of research. 
I think I saw stuff from like $100 to $400 on those. We paid $4.99, so it's worth the risk no matter what. And then kind of the same thing with this bag. This is a lamb leather Mark by Mark Jacobs bag. It's definitely got some wear to the hardware um, and on the inside, but the leather itself is like honestly in really great condition. Um, and yeah definitely somewhere on the inside but I thought it was worth the risk because I did see some that were going for quite a bit yeah this is lamb leather and this one's also kind of a slouchy hobo bag these are a pair of Sorrel's I paid $12.99 for them I was going to list them for $50 um, I'll have to I have on the phone I'm recording on a screenshot of what the style is so I'll have to give that to her later but they're a pair of heels this was the only pair of shoes that we got because all the other shoes were priced up really 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 high unfortunately this is cute this is a talbot's 3x heart button up white blue stripe this is really cute I love that. i would guess like 30 on that yep. talbot's 1x cardigan really pretty light pink color i thought that would be good for barbie stuff yeah this is a cotton rayon blend split back i'd imagine 25 to 30 on that all right this one is going to need some depilling but it's an eileen fisher size large slash extra large uh made of italian yarn sweater longer length and kind of oversized I love that. it is a recycled cashmere and virgin cashmere and merino wool blend so cashmere merino wool blend sweater this is really pretty i love that i was like i'll depill that for that i feel like that's gonna go for quite a bit yeah i need to do some research into that one too to be determined on that if I had to guess, I'd say like 75 on Especially that. Especially with the long length. Yeah. yeah. This is a good find too. This is a standard by James Purse, size three, which is one of their larger sizes, women's uh, dress, like shirt dress. And this feels like a linen blend. Oh, it's 100% linen. Yeah, that's really nice. Has a little drawstring, completely button up go for 50. Heck yeah. Ooh, I love the f like fall winter stuff we got. Okay. Sparrow by Anthropology, not a brand we get very often, but this is um really on trend the multicolor mixed print sweater. You want the OB? If you have it, sure. The It's a GB. We can try it. Okay. <laughs> I would guess it's probably like 25 to 30. I'll have to lens it, but. All right, next up is, you must have gotten this one. I don't recognize this. Barrow and Grove, oh, yeah. or Barrow and Grove, spelled like Croft and Barrow, extra small cardigan. This is a 100% cashmere cardigan. That's nice. It's got pockets. I want to probably go for like 35 to 40. They're okay. not great, but they actually had a really good sulfur rate still. Oh. Okay. This one needs a wash. It's a Vince extra, extra small pale baby blue blouse silk. Next up is bread and butter. Susan Graver size us medium liquid knit floral 25 bucks some more eileen fisher size small red long sleeve top slight overall pilling viscous still never figured out how to say that word Viscous, viscous, viscose. Somebody will tell us. <laughs> uh, this one I don't know how much we're going to get out of. It is a 
3.1, I don't know if this is Philip Klein or Philip Lim. I think it's Philip Lim. <laughs> okay, 3.1 Philip Lim, size medium, black long sleeve cowl top. And this one doesn't have a material tag, but I think we thought it was silk, right? Yeah. And it has a contrasting sleeve. Exact one that went for 50. Nice. I'm excited about this one. I have no idea what we're going to get for it. It is a blazer somewhere in here. We've got another one of them. Oh, look at the little ornate buttons. Those are pretty. And this is a brand that we like never find. It's got velvet on the front. It is the Couples. This one we might have to look up on Posh. Um, I have no idea the sizing. Let's see if I can find another. Oh, it says 32. It is a wool. And there is no style number. But the Couples retails for a lot, if I can remember correctly like one other time we found it it uh did not have a hundred percent sell through rate but it went for quite a bit any idea on that i wasn't gonna look at oh okay i was just wanting to get a range i get excited <laughs> i also have another one in here somewhere um they'll probably go anywhere no i'm ranging high because i don't know but the cheapest one on here is 154 and the most expensive two is 270. Dang, that's higher than I thought it would go. Wow. All right, next up is a Pure Jill Oatmeal Collared Size Large Short Sleeve Oversized Open Knit Sweater. Cotton Linen Blend. Okay. Next up is a Ruffle Sleeve Fair Tee Linen Women's Top. And this is a size large, so that should help to sell it. I'll try to see if there's a style. I do have a style number if you'd like it. Sure. W T S two one zero eight dash W H T, which I think is white. So I don't know if you need that last part. That is called the Mary Posa top. That will go for like thirty-five. Okay, nice. Next up is an REI men's, I think it's medium, it says M-28L. I don't know if that's medium and then 28 long for the inseam or 28 waist long, but that's what we got right now. Uh, convertible hiking pants. Those will probably only go for 30, but they'll sell very fast. This is nice, this one. This is a free people movement, size extra small. This is so cute. That does have some spots on the front. We need to wash, but they were okay. loose crusties. Oversized short sleeve sweatshirt hoodie. This feels really, really nice. I know. Um, I really like that. Like, it's extra small, but it could definitely fit. Like, probably up to an extra large. Kaylee's like, I might take this home. If it were long sleeve, I'd probably keep it. Uh, OB131447. Very cute. Hands washed. That is called a bonfire hoodie. It's cute. Okay, next up is another Eileen Fisher pant. I don't have the size. That's not it, just kidding. Oh. I don't know, I'll have to do some more research. I'll put the OB number over here. Okay. All right, tell me that again. I don't remember what size those other pull-on Eileen Fisher pants are, but I bet they're the same. Eileen Fisher pull-on pants. Those look like a 2X or 3X. Tan. I think I found them with the other ones, so. I don't have a material tag or anything, but they're plus size pants, so even with all that, they should still do well. All 
All right, next up is Wilfred, which is sold out of Ritzia, size two. And I believe they are linen blend, but I'm gonna double check. They are Lyocell tinsel linen blend pants. They're kind of like joggers, tapered at the bottom. Those will probably do better on posh. Landmark goes for like $40. Okay. Next up, I got these because Madewell like trouser stuff, wide leg stuff tends to do well. These are a Madewell crushed velvet pair of pants. They're really gorgeous. Size medium. And I do not have the style. So I might have to lens those or just look up crushed velvet pants, trousers, but they're really nice. Should do good in fall and winter. Next up, a pair of We The Free size 24 corduroy flare pull-on pants. These pull-on pants do good. I wish the jeans themselves did better. Um, and I have an OB number of OB910. Nine six three. Those are just flare corduroy pants. Okay. That's how original we're getting. <laughs> Some of them do have a specific like style name that does well. Oh look, we had little goodies in there. I didn't know. <laughs> uh, Nelly Lotan and. I assume this is the style number. Nelly Low. N I L I space. L O T A N. And there's like an issue number, so I think this might be the style number. Let's try. 260-9988. Well, I think they're like, mil if you could put the keyword military in there, they kind of seem like, because of that issue number white crop pants yeah i mean they're at least at least gonna go for at least probably 150. we found some good stuff yeah i'm gonna leave that blank so I, we can do some more research but that pays for my speeding ticket <laughs> 150. I literally was like thinking when you got pulled over, I was like, we got that all sent back. <laughs> I was like literally thinking that. Sorry, I forgot you were recording. No, you're good. Uh, this is an Athleta size eight pair of pants. These ones are the ones that need wash with the makeup spot in the back. And the style number is 281-969-04. We'll go for 30, 35. Okay. Nike size large men's joggers, black. They should go for, I would say 28, 27, 28. Okay. Next up, same thing. Nike dry fit men's size large sweat pant joggers. Say the same price. Oh, there's a third. These ones are fleece lined, size large. These ones are more like sweatpants than joggers. All right, next up is another Lululemon. These are cropped. I don't feel like the same one as the others, but they might be. Uh, style number, LW6AEFS. They're size six. Pushing limits. They feel really nice. Size six? Mm hmm. Those will go for pushing lemon, pushing limits leggings. Apparently, there's a pushing limits bra. Oh, Those I'll will go for 35. I thought you typed pushing lemons. I <laughs> kept saying lemons. I don't know. I'll push it now. <laughs> All right, next up is a Lily Pulitzer Extra Small. T-shirt, V-neck, I'll give you the style. It's just a cotton V-neck. I feel like it's not gonna go for much. 
Uh, style number 76422. This is like. Watch out, V neck. Okay. Lily Pulitzer. It's a lighthouse print. Twenty-five. Okay. Next up is a COS or COS. This one you might have to look up on Posh. So this brand performs better over there. Uh, tunic. Feels really nice. This is a cotton viscous blend. Yeah, They're, I needed to do research on that one. It's very thick. But it felt very nice. Yeah. All right, next up, an Alice and Olivia cotton blend sweater vest. I've got a style number here. C5027429. And it is tight at the bottom, but... I think they did that because of the fuller. Yeah. Let's open it up. It doesn't tell me. Oh, it doesn't tell me based on that. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, it's really nice. It's a very drapey, color blocky cardigan, I guess I'd call it. Unsure of size. To be determined. Okay. Next up, a Torrid New Attacks bodysuit slash, what do they call this, a teddy? I thought teddies were. I don't know. I wear shorts and a t-shirt. <laughs> um, cherry print, pinup would be a good keyword for this. But it is new attack, so that should do well. Okay, this one will have to lens because I could not find a size dot. This is a Lululemon really nice snap jacket, coat. It appears to be reversible. Hooded, black and gray. This thing feels top notch, but we'll definitely have to do some research on that. Um, I don't know. To be determined. Okay. Hope I didn't just make a spot on that. Hopefully that'll go away once it dries. All right, next up, Chica's Travelers Women's Tank Top. This one's gonna have to be washed, size one. Kinda has like a knit contrasting front. This one will probably have to lens Alice and Olivia women's floral multicolor blouse. Faux wrap. It's cute. Next up, this is missing its belt, but it is new with tags. It is a Rachel Parcel spelled R-A-C-H-E-L space P-A-R-C-E-L-L. -L. And I didn't do research. It says it's made in Indonesia. The tag looked nice. It is a very pretty tiered dress. And despite it missing its belt or sash, it is new with tags. It says yellow corn husk blooming roses. It's a size large. I can't find that exact style on here as far as like just quick searching, but most of her dresses are going for like at least $100, 80 to 100 so. New attacks? Yeah. I did good. The senses did not let us down. All right. Next up is a Cosmo, C-O-S-M-O, -S made in Italy, size large, linen, log and look knee to midi length dress neutral colored that's cute one i'm also not sure about i've seen 
Target collabs with this. This is not a Target collab, so I figured it might be better. Rixo, R-I-X-O. This is a size 2XL also. It's a linen blend, multicolor dress. It's probably what, a knee length? Yeah, like above knee maybe. Let me make sure it's linen. Oh, it says Lolita on it. So it must be the style name. It's cotton, actually. Feels like linen. Lolita dress. <sighs> that exact dress sold for $150. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. Next up is a CP Shades. I doubt you'll be able to see it. This brand's so easy to pass on, but it's really good. CP Shades, maxi length, button up, sleeveless white dress, really great condition. Um, Very gauzy, let me see. It is 100% linen, made in USA. That should be good. Probably 100. We're, we did good. Next up is a pair of Athleta, size 20, so plus size, pair of convertible pants. Wow, those look nice. <laughs> those do look nice. Uh, style number 988052-00. These are made of, in spring 2022, so pretty recent style, so they should do really well. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some more research on those because they're listed as Trekkies, but they're not showing them in convertibles yet. Hmm. So I think they might just be that new that that's like a newer line. Okay. This next one, I have no idea if it was a good pickup or not. We got it based on style. It is Ananda's collection, A-N-A-N-D-A-S collection. They're made in India, 100% rayon, size medium, wide leg, tiered palazzo log and looky pants. This is just a very on-trend style, so I thought it would do well. It also has like an acidy wash to it and some cute little button details. Did I mess up? I can't find anything on those yet. Hmm. I thought they were cute. That might be a miss. Those sell on Zoo Lily for ten ninety nine. They're I mean, super those are cute. Hundreds of dollars. <laughs> the one miss. <laughs> well, I thought they were cute. We could probably still sell them. We might be able to like style base keyword it for twenty five bucks. All right. All right. Next up, and I don't know if this makes a difference, but Robert Graham X tailored fit size large button up and it does have the contrast cuff it has an x here too i feel like that must be a special line but i'm not super familiar with yeah it shows as like an x collection okay we will sell that for 35. okay heck yeah all right next up is wilfred free size 10 pair of very heavy duty cargo pants wide leg let me see if there's a style number there is it's very long okay czr space 07 dash 06 dash 60017 dash w one two one that might be an i two one i don't know ask don't pants as far as that worked i was getting nervous when it gets real long they feel very high quality ask. oh <laughs> I'm not even trying to make fun of myself, but all I'm gonna say is I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's literally supposed to be ascendant, and I was like, oh. I don't. <laughs> um, those will go for 70. 
Dang. Now that I did that. So I wish those were my size. One size higher to kept them. They're really cute. All right. Ready? Yeah. Rag and bone standard issue. I believe it's men's. Henley? Isn't that nice? It is very nice. Forest green, heathered. It's very military ish. It is. So we'll go for 40. Heck yeah. Uh, this is another Lululemon. Kind of looks like it might be the same as the other one. But I will give you the style number. It's also a size 6, too. LW. LW5DSHS. I love the people who like have every style memorized and they just know by looking at it. I'm still not that person yet. Although the dance studio ones, like if they're in that realm, I pretty much know them. All right, next up we have Flax, women's size medium, 100% linen, wide leg pull on pants. These are very, very nice. I would guess 40 to 50. So that's how much we've been selling the other ones for. Last bag. And it's full of heavy stuff, so it should go quick. All right, I think this is the other Couples. Yep, this is the other, the Couples women's blazer. This is a wool blend. The size is ripped out, but I'm gonna guess it's also a size 32 because they were found in the same place. Um, houndstooth, wait. Yes, houndstooth blazer jacket, belted. I feel like that's gonna go for even more because it's belted. This is an XCVI wearables size large jacket. I was gonna list this for 30. Log and look, this one has some interesting sleeves. This we'll have to do some more research on. I think I'm just gonna list it for like 75. Geiger uh, made in Austria boiled wool coat. Um, definitely do not have the comps there yet for it, but this brand performs well for us almost every single year. I don't know if someone took this in or if it's made like this, but it's got some interesting like well, puff sleeves essentially. Yeah, can you like what? hold that back up? Fold it in half. Look at that. Oh, just kidding. Okay. Is it? It lost it the way you had it, but it looked like it had one short arm and one long arm. Yeah, I think that person might have been missing an arm. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought it was like half a shirt difference, and well, I was like, if someone did this, they did a very good job, but. We'll probably just list it as is. Possibly altered. This feels nice. Oh, that was interesting. Patrick Ervil, P A T R I K, Ervil, E R V E L L, a Ron sweater. You must have got this. I don't remember this at all. This is super heavy. It was very nice. Cable net. And they passed on it. Baby alpaca. Yeah. What I could find on some of those, like just regular, regular, like long sleeve kind of sweaters, but more like shirt sweaters, mm -hmm. they were like $80. And I was like, oh, yeah. okay. Man. Get in my cart. Just keeps getting better, other than those Ananda's pants, which I'll never pick up again. Chico's size two. This is just a bread and butter, but I couldn't pass it because it's a size two. It's a liquid knit multicolor top 25. Should sell quickly. This is a J. Jill Love Linen. 
medium petite blue plaid top. I'd guess 25 to 30 on that. That's one I need to do more research on. Um, I took a risk on it. It's called Lynn Yarrington, L-Y-N-N space Y-A-R-R-I-N-G. Why? Y-A-R-R-I-N-G-T-O-N. And I picked this up because some brands that have this like artsy carpet look to them perform really well. And this one actually did look like it had decent comps. <clears throat> Definitely not 100% sell through rate yet, but we are in like summer. So I feel this will do pretty well. And I saw some of them going for quite a bit of money. So I grabbed that and I'm taking a chance on it. And then last item is this women's J Crew blazer size six black with gold buttons and wool got a style number two nine two four eighty Oh my. Is it listed as a schoolboy blazer? It could be, yeah. All right, guys, so that's it for what we got. Maybe if Nikki's kind enough, she'll do a tally of what our like grand total was for just that store. But I think we ended up getting 87 to 88 items. Um, just at that particular store in total of the day, we ended up getting over 100 items. Um, but I'm pretty happy with that. I would guess our average sale price is really high on these and let us know down in the comments what your favorite piece was um we found some really great stuff a lot of stuff like i said people were flooding the store going through every item and just having some of the knowledge about factor stacking has really helped us to find items that people have passed on in just that store uh-huh given we didn't price probably a quarter of these items and they were higher dollar, they were the higher yeah. dollar ones. but according to this we will make 2519. It's pretty good. And we would have spent I think it was like sorry, I was trying to make sure I was on the right right thing here. Um four hundred dollars and forty nine cents. Nice. I was gonna say I think it was around four hundred. Yeah. yeah, and we still have like several items that are like multiple hundred dollars possibly. So I would say confidently we're probably at like 3500 I would say, yeah. um, if we still have that much to price. So pretty amazing haul. Hope you guys enjoyed watching and it's lunchtime. So I'm going to go eat lunch. Everybody say thank you to Nikki for doing the comps behind the scenes. Bye. Bye.